I hereby claim this block, well, well, this, this angel block here, and all the surrounding blocks that I shall place around said block, in the name of Bentley. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to Sky Factory 2, The Skies of Bentley, episode 14, and I have myself an angel block, which eh, didn't take too much to craft, I just went ahead and crafted one real quick. Um, I went ahead and took care of a, a little chicken problem, and by that I meant just, just one little chicken. Um, I, I'm, I'm positive it wasn't Mr. Jenkins, so no worries there guys, don't don't, don't worry, Mr. Jenkins is, is fine, he's healthy, in fact we probably need to get him out of there with the rest of the other chickens. But nonetheless, we have an angel block, and this is going to come in handy, especially with building, um, well, actually... <laughs> with the beginning of my Void Fortress, which is gonna be here. Well, surrounding this, and I'm gonna head back over and start getting some stuff together so we can start building said Void Fortress. And I'm actually very excited. Um, I got a couple ideas. I got a few other things I wouldn't mind working on today as well, but I'd like to get at least a foundation, something set up to uh, start maybe moving um, a few things over very very soon because I got all this stuff set up it's just kind of thrown together and put up and and obviously I want to make it better too we want to make more bigger things better and get all of the stuff that's what I like I like the sound of that so in fact we need to find Mr. Jenkins in fact do I have enough iron I do for an anvil an anvil would be great the way we could name Mr. Jenkins um, another thing I would like to do is I wouldn't mind upgrading my tool station. I'd like to get myself a tool forge, so that way we can upgrade and make, you know, a lot cooler weapons and stuff. Um, not, not necessarily just weapons either, I guess, but I'll also the tools. So maybe I'll start working on that real quick. In fact, we have a ton of aluminum, so let me go ahead and start getting that together. We'll just go ahead and pop that in there and let the aluminum go. Well, we're uh, starting to place down some stuff. Now, um, I do want to craft myself up a new block that I have not crafted yet here in the skies of Bentley. I don't have any glass. Okay, there we go. I was going to say, I, I should have some glass laying around somewhere. I've been sifting some sand, or not sand. Well, a little bit of sand, but mostly gravel. Got, ooh, got a few diamonds so far. But uh, all my dusts, eh, they're not looking too bad so far. We got, we got a lot of aluminum dust and stuff. Uh, wouldn't mind getting more gold. Hmm. I got a fair amount of iron. I was gonna say, where's my iron at? I hope I have some iron. But here we go. I'm going to craft myself a builder's guide. This is gonna come in handy for what I'm wanting to do. Um, if you're not good with, like, circles or shapes in Minecraft, like building and all that good stuff, um, I recommend from Open Blocks the building guide. It is a lifesaver, I have to say. So this, coupled with a piece of redstone signal, which I'm going to use in this case, a lever. I'm actually curious if mobs are... Mobs are probably going to start spawning on that angel block out there very, very soon, I imagine. Um, I'm, uh, I guess... I, hmm, all right, fine. We'll go ahead and sleep through the night. Just this once. I've been sleeping through the night just a little bit, just to... um have it day that way you know, we can go build over there nice and easy like um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that along with plenty of dirt so all the dirt that we've been collecting over the uh, the beginning of this it's it's gonna come in handy I got a, I got an idea I think I'm gonna try something a little different than what I'm used to for one I I tend to like to do that lately it's a lot more fun this way but I really want to find a way to get over here between this area and that area a lot easier and I may have to resort to Ender.io, and I might have the stuff for it. I just, I might be a little too far away. If you guys notice, I'm actually in a completely different biome than when I was over there. So this is a birch forest biome. All right, so let's go ahead and pop down the building guide. Turn that on. Okay, that got very bright <laughs> all of a sudden. Um, on, on a quick note, I am playing in a very, very dim lit room. So this is, this is hurting my eyes a little bit. <laughs> All right, let's set this to, we got cuboid, cylinder, so if you shift right click on it, it'll uh, change and cycle through the modes. I want pentagon mode. I think this is gonna be pretty awesome. 
So which way? I guess this is the tip. Which isn't bad, that's that's fine. So I wanna expand this out. So if I want to expand, let's go ahead and start placing a few blocks around. Hmm. Maybe, and that's the awesome thing about the angel block. You can pretty much right click it anywhere you want, even open air and then just left click on with it with anything and it'll just automatically break and pop it in your inventory. It's awesome, I love that block. Um, but I'm thinking maybe going down a little bit. I gotta make sure I conserve a little bit of jetpack power. That way I know I can get back. That's what I'm saying. I should probably start looking at making some something to get between here and there a lot easier. All right, so there we go. Now I, I want to make this fairly large. So right click on the side to expand. Okay, good. So I don't have to worry about which side I want to click on. I just click on any side that I want. So maybe. Okay, this, th these two sides will probably decrease it. So how big is that? How big does that look? That doesn't look too bad. That actually almost looks about, man, maybe a little bit bigger. Yeah, why not? Let's go a little bit bigger. Let's take it up to 25. Yeah, there we go, that looks good. All right, so we got a little bit of a platform set up down here, but I will not be using this. I might use it actually, I might use it a little bit later, but. Um, for now, we're building on this level. So I'm gonna probably go ahead and start working on this. Try to expand this out as much as I possibly can. Um, try not to use my jetpack as much either. So I got a, I got a little bit of building ahead of me, obviously. I'm um, just gonna be doing pretty much all dirt, all the way out to this edge. So I'm gonna work on this for a little bit, and uh, when I get done with this, a little bit of tedious dirt placing, I'll be back to show you guys the finished results. You know, I really thought that that dirt was going to go a lot further than what it actually did here, but it's all right. I'll get some more made up and replace all this stone with some dirt later on. This is going to be our main courtyard of my void fortress. And you're already making weird noises, which is which is all right. That's fine. But I think it looks awesome. I went ahead and surrounded the edges with stone. That's going to kind of help signify my wall that I'll be building later on. And I think we'll kind of run around the uh, the layout of what I got envisioned real quick. So thinking down here on this side, this will be kind of like the entrance. I'll make an entrance here, maybe like a gate or something. I'm not sure, maybe a, um, a patio or a foundation or something out here. So um, if you land out here, fly around or manage to somehow compile yourself out of thin air on my balcony there, then uh, you're welcome, you know, <laughs> I guess. Uh, but I'm thinking here, you know, we'll have a couple small farms, some trees, greenery, all here in the courtyard. Maybe we'll build off something off, I'm thinking off the sides here, maybe off that corner, you know, same thing on the opposite side. And then here at the tip, I'm thinking maybe doing, you know, a different shape like I did um, with this whole uh, void fortress here. So. Uh, we got a whole bunch of different shapes. I'm thinking triangle, but I don't know how to rotate this thing. I want the tip of the triangle pointing that way for one, and I want it to match up with the tip here. Now I'm gonna have like a, you know, it's gonna it's gonna be obviously connected and all that, and I wouldn't mind have like a small like pathway or um, just having it connected to where I can have a door here, um, but have a triangle shaped room off the wall. You know, maybe have our storage. Um, have it my sleeping quarters so we can sleep in there and all that good stuff as well. But I like it. I like the way this is turning out. I like the way it looks. I'm happy with it, guys. I really am. All right, I'm going to make my way back over to our initial starting area. And I have a few things I've already kind of started working on. I've uh, prepared a few things. I want to do some work in Tinker's Construct again. Just, just real quick, you know, just something small. Um... According to our achievement book here, I still need to make a Matic from Tinker's Construct. And I think that's a pretty nice idea. So that's what I'm going to work towards here real quick. Um, I'm just not sure really what I want to make it out of just yet. But I was kind of leaning towards trying something, obviously, new again. Uh, maybe some shiny ingots. So I'm going to do that. And as far as like the handle's concerned... If I'm not mistaken, we might be able to use Certus Quartz for the handle. 
Now, I don't think my texture pack is going to work for this tool, but I'm okay with this. So there we go, a Certus Quartz Tool Rod. Handle modifier 0.8. Yeah, definitely don't want that. <laughs> Not as good as I was hoping there. All right, um, what about, do I have anything besides that? Do I have like regular nether quartz? What does not regular nether quartz give us? Handle modifier 0.7. No thank you. So, well, <laughs> I just don't even know. Um, I could go with obsidian for the reinforced, but I was actually thinking about going that with the um, other side of it uh, for the actual axe head. But there we go. There is our platinum shovel head. I think that looks pretty cool. I like the color of the platinum. Um, so there's that guy. I'm thinking just for durability reasons, I might go with the lumite for the axe head. So let's pull this guy out. We'll pop this guy away for now. Now, I guess I might have to go ahead and just make myself a tool cast, I guess. Tool rod cast. We'll pop that out of there. And you're not done melting down yet, which is completely fine. We'll just go ahead and quickly make ourselves our cast. No big deal. Now, earlier on, I did make up a lot of aluminum. Reason for this is because I want to go ahead and upgrade my tool forge. For that, we're going to need a few blocks of metal. And I'm going to, in this case, use aluminum. So, this with my tool station. And I should have some seared bricks, hopefully, laying around somewhere. You, you, no, no. Well, there's one. I need a few more. I need a couple more than that. Where are you? Oh, I knew you. You guys were hiding right here somewhere. Don't you hide from me. So with all of this in my tool station, I should be able to craft my tool forge. Aluminum now, too. Eh, it's not too bad looking. Could look better. But that's fine. All right, so let's go ahead and get that. We'll get our alumite axe head. So this is going to look like a weird tool. <laughs> I think so. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and probably, I think... Let's just make the handle maybe out of the uh, shiny and get mm, maybe. Yeah, I know I'm undecided, guys. I can't help it. Hmm. Now I do also want to go ahead and make myself a lumber axe. The reason for this will be revealed very, very shortly. So what I'm gonna do? I need to do a few more things. I'm gonna go ahead and get the um, stencils made up for this. We've already seen this. It's all kind of boring stuff, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and make up the stencils. Um, I'm also going to pour out the casts. And I'm going to try to decide what I'd like to actually make my, uh, my tools out of. So I'll be right back. And I've made my decision. I, I'm not going to go too crazy on my uh, lumber axe here. I, I think I might not be using this too much. It's kind of like a, a just-in-case kind of thing. So I'm just going to leave its name as is. And it'll be called, forevermore, the Iron Lumbrax. And unless I decide to change it later, I guess. But I do want to make myself a Matic. So I went ahead and went with the uh, Platinum Tool Rod, which I believe has, I'm hoping, a 1.5 times handle modifier. Uh, does that actually say anywhere? Hmm. If I could put it in here, will it tell me? Hmm, it doesn't. Uh, well, anyway, I, I, if I remember correctly, I believe this might be like a 1.5 times handle modifier. I don't know why it doesn't come up with a shift. I guess that mod isn't um, installed that allows you to actually see that. But anyway, I am hoping it does. And we'll have the shovel head, the alumite axe head, and the platinum tool rod. And there we go. That's what I wanted to see. High durability. Nice. Uh, and it's got a little bit of a modifier on there as well. Mining speed of... 7.9, I'm guessing that's for the Alumite Axe Head, and then 14 for the Shovel, I'm guessing. That's fine with me. And we'll call this the Shiny Matic. <laughs> hey, um, I'm not super amazing with names sometimes, all right? <laughs> now, the real reason why I did want to make the Matic is because if you remember earlier on, um, I was hoping to be able to add a Bone Crook to a tool in hopes that it would give it the crooking ability. Oh, there it is. 
right there. That actually looks awesome too, I like that. I'm gonna add that on to my medic. So now this kind of serves as, uh, you know, you know, kind of like my shovel. I can also pick up, you know, some, some wood with it as well. But if, uh, you know, if I don't need lee like the actual leaves, if I need like, you know, saplings or something, now we can crook saplings. How much did that give me? Eight? Really? Eight? That's all you're gonna give me? Wow, that didn't seem like much at all. <laughs> Maybe that wasn't worth it after all. So, anyway, I want to do something a little bit fun. You guys have been talking a lot lately about you know, don't grow the, the, the rubber tree and stuff like that, and you should see it and try it out. Well, you know what? That's, that's, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to go grow one of the rubber trees. Now, I'm not going to be this one. Nope. No, 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 no. Not this one. Not the sacred rubber tree. I'm pretty sure that's like an end game one. We're going to go with the mega rubber tree sampling. We're going to grow maybe maybe two of those. So what I'm going to do real quick, just to kind of prepare for this whole scenario, I'm going to craft a couple barrels. So let's do that, and for now, let's put you away. It's an extra tool rod for later on. So a couple extra barrels, huh? Yeah, yeah, that, that looks good. I like that. Um, another thing I wouldn't mind having, I wouldn't mind making a satchel or some bag or something soon. Unfortunately, I, I could make the golden bag of holding, I guess. Hmm, I could. Didn't you guys tell me I could melt down these golden apples for, like, gold and stuff? Pretty sure you guys did. Oh, we can. Look at that. Well, if that isn't awesome, I don't know what is. Uh, I, maybe we could go... Do we even have... Oh, I got, I, got, I got string, I got string. Don't worry, guys, I have string. <laughs> All is not lost. I would love to have a golden bag of holding right now. Uh, a diamond chest. I think I got a chest somewhere. Plenty of chests. Uh, we just need a block of gold. No problem. We're going to need... Was that one piece of wool? One or... Four. 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 We need four. Okay. <laughs> that, that's a little bit more than what I uh, had anticipated. But that's fine. I've made this thing so many times. And you think I would remember the recipe by now? <laughs> but I don't. Now, lastly, I wouldn't mind giving this guy, you know, a little little extra, you know, color on the side. We'll give him a blue color. So now it's the blue golden bag of holding, I guess. <laughs> Good enough. All right, and then with this, I'm just going to place some of my tools in here that I don't plan on using at the moment. And that will be fine. Perfect. So let's go grow ourselves a couple of these mega rubber trees. Now, I'm pretty sure... These guys are not as big as the sacred rubber trees. I just, yeah, it's fine. I just wanted to get some rubber going. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, give me some extra wood that I could use for some barrels at some point. Um, and I believe samplings? Maybe leaves? I'm not sure. Let's see what happens. And? And? Whoa, oh, oh, hi. Okay. This could be bad. <laughs> That's a big tree. That, that's a very, very big tree. I uh, Yeah, it's making creepy noises down here. Alright, let's 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 go upwards. Quickly, quickly, quickly. So, now I'm debating at this point. I do need dirt. So, maybe I'll just silk touch this all. Okay, maybe, maybe not. You're not going to silk touch for me? I should have probably put my magnet on. Okay, I'm guessing... Ooh, 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 careful there. Care careful, careful. I heard mobs up there. <laughs> A friend is up there somewhere. Alright, let's see if this works. Whoa, look at all that. Look at all that rubber. Sweet. Give me the tree! I want the whole tree. Give me the... Come on, give me the tree. Can you not knock down the entire rubber tree? Oh, this is going to take a little while. I wonder what would happen if I, uh, vein mined it. Does that not work on that one? What about this? <gasps> okay. <laughs> um, I thought I was going to do the entire tree there for a second. I thought I was going to lose my durability on my axe. Wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay. I was going to say, wait a minute. And you? Come on. You can't... Whoa. Whoa. Okay, that leveled up a lot. Whoa. Whoa. What is hitting me? <laughs> Stop shooting me, skeleton. I'm going to kill you. I don't appreciate you shooting me like that. That double leveled. 
that <laughs> that axe. Wow, that actually gave it what reinforced and a level of haste. That's that's actually kind of funny. All right, I'm gonna fall down here. Whoa, jeez, look at all of this, and and mob drops too at that. All right, let's pop these guys down. Let's put some let's put the rubber in there. We'll put the wood in this one. Oh, look at all this. Oh, this is insanity. Oh, we're gonna be good on wood for a while. All I gotta do is chop down two of these trees, and I'm <laughs> I'm set. All right, let's see if we can actually get these to kind of fly towards me with my magnet and stuff. Oh, wow. Things are still dropping. Oh, this is going to be... Yeah, I might need another set of barrels <laughs> at some point. Hey, look, Fred gave me his head. Check that out. Wasn't that something? We got plenty, plenty of uh, rubber tree... Yeah, the rubber tree saplings. That's, that's more than what I'm probably ever going to need again, so... <laughs> Um, should, should we do this again? <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna have to let this lumber axe probably regenerate first, I think. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll, we'll save them because this, this, I think that's enough for now. I might grow another one at some point because this, this stuff is still just spawning. And there's still so much in the tree. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, I think one's fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish collecting this real quick. And then uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to try to maybe do a little bit more work back at our initial base and um, try to start preparing for the actual um, materials I'm going to need to build. Start, you know, making the uh, actual ooh, 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 ooh. void fortress look amazing. So I'm going to do that real quick, put um, all this stuff that I can up, and I'll see you guys back in just a minute. Ooh, look what I found in my, my little bit of a goodies chest from our loot bag. I got ourselves another safari net. Let us see the mystery that resides inside of the safari net. It's probably going to be horrible, isn't it? Why do I always do this over here where it's completely probably the worst, most, like, unsafest idea ever? <laughs> um, Sure, let's do it over here. What are you... Well, I didn't even give him a chance to live for a second, did I? Well, maybe like a millisecond, but sorry, Bat. But you you don't you don't have a home here. <laughs> I feel so bad. It was just a bat. It was just a bat. Uh I try to be careful though. Very, very careful. So you guys also gave me a recommendation real quick before I um jump into anything else. To make myself a dev null. Yeah, guys, I read. See, look, dev null. And you guys suggested I use this in combination with the tainted essence. So what I'm gonna do really quick is we're going to vein mine and we're gonna put this in there. Okay, apparently it doesn't want to take all of them so I have to throw the rest of them off the edge. Awesome. So I got a uh, tainted essence inside of a dev null. Well, that works for me. That's not too bad, that's a pretty good idea guys, thank you. I didn't know. Nope, I didn't even think about that, honestly. I really did not even think about having uh, using a dev null to pick up the tainted essence. That's just brilliant. Thank you guys. <laughs> that was a great idea. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of uh, replant this, I guess, just eh, randomly. There you go. Enjoy yourselves. Grow for me and make me awesome essences and all the good things. Thank you. And you all can go back in there. You can stay on my person. And let's. Go ahead and try out a few things. So I believe it was last episode. I was doing some talking about the... Um, I can't wait till I move these trees and we get our tree farm. And I don't want to sit here and just randomly stare and be like, Ooh, tree, look at me. I'm I'm in the spotlight. No, I'm, I'll am i look this way then. <laughs> talking to trees. Um, I'm going to try to make myself a magma crucible. I want to actually see if I'm melting down the... Ender lily seeds will actually work for me, so I'm gonna need some netherrack. And we need some redstone for this, so I'm guessing how much are we gonna need? We're gonna need two pieces of nether brick, so that's equivalent to eight pieces of netherrack. So let's grab eight of you. And we're gonna need do I have a stone barrel laying around anywhere? Yes I do. Even better. And all I need lastly is to put that away. Grab our bucket. 
We should be able to easily and quickly make ourselves up a few pieces of redstone. Now eventually I'm probably going to have to automate this at some point. But this is not like a hard automation at all. I'm pretty sure. Um, I, I wouldn't mind doing this on like a massive scale though. It would be really nice. Um, I'm pretty sure we can do some awesome things with um, netherrack eventually. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that into my alloy smelter for now. In the meantime, let's get crafting. I need myself a few copper gears. Shouldn't be a problem as long as I get some copper taken care of real quick. You know, melt it down and all that good stuff. Right, you make me the sand that I need. And then sand become my dust. I really, really need to like automate this very, very soon. Trust me, I will. I'm working on it. I'm working towards it. It's a thing. I promise. Alright, and we'll put all that stuff back in there. That'll make me a little bit more copper, which is even better. Um, I'm going to need as well gold and redstone. Let's just make that real quick. Bloop and bloop. Nice. Got you. And then lastly, we're going to need the machine frames. We're going to need tin and iron. Do I have tin? Please tell me I have tin. Tin? Tin? Please, tin? I really don't have any tin? Oh, that, wait, no, that's silver. Really? One piece of tin. <laughs> okay. Um, I get the picture. I need to get some tin going. Will do. Not too much, I guess. Just just a little bit. Just a little bit of tin. That should be more... That's actually, I believe, exactly what I need. So I'm going to wait to put that in there because that's going to turn into bronze otherwise. Uh, we're going to need some glass. Bloop. Grab you. And then... What else am I going to need? Nope, nope, nope. Iron. So let's just grab... Let's grab a little bit of iron. That should be fine. All right, and then the big guy. We're going to need four more pieces of glass, four pieces of lead, and we're going to need to make ourselves a block of redstone. That should be everything, I'm guessing, to make you. Nice. Awesome. Then, all right, cool. That's done. We'll get our tin going. Our nether bricks are ready to go. Oh, yeah. See, I actually feel like I'm doing better now multitasking. Look at me go. Whoa, hello, gold. Nice to meet you. Um, apparently, smelting down the gold apples is a very good idea. Um, thank you guys for that. I will be listening to you more often. I promise. I, was, I wasn't being sarcastic, I promise. <laughs> uh, but there we go. You and you. Um, actually, hold on. Let's just... Let's wait for our machine frame real quick. We should have some tin coming in. So we'll take this guy out, we'll grab these three, and with that, we should quickly be able to craft up our tin gear to make our basic machine frame and our magma crucible. So now we gotta do is give this guy a little bit of power. Let's just pop him, hmm. Um, we'll put him right there for now. Perfect. Now, let us try what I've been wanting to work on. I want to see if this will work. Melting down ender lily seeds. How much does this actually give me? Hold on a second. Let's do that. I just want to do one real quick. I want to see how many buckets worth of this it actually gives me. I think it said four, but I just wanted to make sure. Really? <laughs> really? Well, I appreciate it. <laughs> very much and with that I'm going to make myself bloop one of you two of you hey two of you and I'm making myself another drum now will that auto sweet all right melt down all my inner lily seeds for me please sweet with this this is going to be awesome um, I'm going to find myself do I have liquid transfer node I wonder if hardened glass if I can use that instead of the fused quartz I know they're kind of interchangeable on some things okay I guess not it was worth a try I wanted to try it I need some uh, 
fluid conduits of some sort. So let's see, fluid. Um, let's try conduit. Let's see what we have here. Pressurized fluid conduit. So fuse cords. What's the basic one? Quite clear glass. Um, I might go with that or just a regular liquid transfer node. Yeah, we'll yeah we'll go with that one. <laughs> you like my decisions on this? Yeah, I don't even know the noises that I make sometimes. So let's see, let's do this and then liquid transfer node. Wait, what? Nope, 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 nope. I need a bucket first. Make me bucket, and then select the correct one, and we'll get ourselves four of the transfer nodes. So how much we got in there? Thirty-two. Sweet. All right, we're gonna pick this guy up, and what I'm gonna do is now place him right here, plop him into this. This should start filling up with resonant ender. Okay. Um, hold on one moment. <laughs> uh, let's see, resonant. Oops, resonant ender. Hmm. Could have swore. <laughs> Is this wrong now? Is this wrong? Hold on. Let's see, Ender Lily. Oops. Let's type in Lily. So if I go to Usages, it tells me Resident Ender, and then if I go to Usages on this and scoot over, it says in a casting table on a bucket we can get the Resident Ender thing. Ooh, a pan cast. Okay. Okay. I can do. Whoa. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. I need one of these. Oops. Plop that guy in there. Um, I think that's off. I want to say it is. L let's test. Okay, it wasn't off. Now it's off. So that's going to pour a bucket in there. We could probably put that back in there. New no problem. Uh, but let's grab ourselves a stencil. We need a pan cast pattern. Let's pop that guy in here. Get our stone. Do this. Waiting on you to finish. Come on. Finish. <gasps> oh, right. Fine. I can fix that. No problem. We can just drain it back out. For now. Just for a minute. There we go. Just didn't have enough room in there. That's all. Wait. Wait a minute. No. No, 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 no. Darn you. Hold on, guys. Let me get this thing melted back down real quick. And uh, get me a pan cast made. One second. Haha, -ha, there we go. All right, now let's try this one more time. Transfer node, start emptying out that drum. This, hopefully, should get me a decent amount of ender pearls. Reason why I was doing it this way is because, well, we took a look here. One ender lily seed gives us 4,000 mil buckets of resonant ender. All right, so if we take that, oops, go back. We can put this in our. Uh, well, we can also get the uh, end stone easily with that with 50. Wow, that's super cheap. Uh, but anyways, so with this, oop, 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 hold on, go back. 250 millibuckets of resonant ender makes one ender pearl. So one ender lily seed will make us was that 16 ender pearls? Yeah, that's worth it. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be melting down some ender pearls. Well, or making ender pearls in this instance. And I think we can just take that and put that in there. Sweet. And that'll just go right back in there. Awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any helpful tips, tricks, or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section down below. And trust me, we will be getting more Ender Lily Seeds. We still have a fair amount in here. Hopefully this will give us a lot of Ender Pearls. Um, but yeah, look at that. We almost have a stack of Ender Pearls already loving it but if you guys would please rate the video i'd really 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 appreciate it and until next time we'll see you guys then goodbye